Today, an update to my VCSA in my home lab. Now, if you start with looking at this little updates available button, you'll notice um, you've got a visual trigger here. And today's the 25th. I think it's two or three days since vSphere 7.0b came out. And I just want to double check if you get the blue banner up here at the top as well on this day. Now, I've actually got my logout timer set to uh, not log out automatically. So that's why I'm manually logging off for you here and then logging back in. So yeah, this video is basically just going to cover the process of doing updates. I'm going to start in here, but it probably has me jumping over to Vami. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. There it is. vCenter updates available. So whether you click here or here, doesn't matter. It jumps you to the right spot, goes right into the updates tab, and offers us this June 22nd code from three days ago. Generate a report? Sure, we'll do that first. So if you just click this button, it brings up a dropdown. Now, I don't have third-party products. It's not going to find anything fancy as far as compatibility. But yes, a good idea to do that first. And I'm on a quick lunch break here where this is going to take a while, but, but I'm on the NVMe SSD, so it shouldn't take too long. But still, it's something I'm going to kick off and walk away, and then we'll hopefully see success afterward. All right. So yes, it's not finding uh, release notes for some reason. That's a little bit surprising, but all right. Now, yesterday, the check wasn't working when I went to this step. So uh, a little while ago this morning, I checked again, and it works. So that's good. There you go. pre update checks have passed. And that's it. So it's not complaining about not finding a version. And then you click this button, and it opens VAMI right up for you. And this came up on my other screen. So let's bring that over there. There's VAMI. OK? So not too different from what you're used to. But I will say. When you go to update, you've got to back up first. It warns you, which is awesome. And you'll see the wizard actually warned you about that. OK, let's open that. There it is. We just did a pre-update check, so we don't really need to do another one of those. I'm going to dive right in and stage and install it. Now, it's called 7.0.0.10400. Also known as 7.0.b. Sorry, 7.0b. And there's release notes and all that for you online. You're going to want to read those as well, especially in a production environment. All right, it's doing the pre-update checks again anyway. And if you don't even know if your backups are working, it gives you this handy link to go right over and look at your backups. And they are working. How nice is that to see? So uh, let's go. Interesting sort order, but yeah, June 24th. My backups are working. And it even spawned in a separate window, so uh, it was non-disruptive like that. OK, so I'm telling it I've backed up and I'm ready to continue. 190 minutes, not going to take that long. But here we are kicking off at 12.35. Haven't even bothered to snapshot. And install failed. Hmm. That was weird. It's not pointing me to logs. vCenter server non-operational. All right, I guess I'm restarting my vCenter server. So finish doesn't work. It's in a loop. How about I just try it again? Immediate. Interesting. All right, now rebooting is kind of extreme. But I really don't know what service might be uh, complaining about. So if someone watches this video and sees something stop that's not supposed to be in the right, that could be pretty telling that my uh, VCSA happens to be in a wonky state or something. There's my stop services, four of them. So not quite sure what the issue was there. Um, so let's reboot and try again. And go grab something to eat. All right, resuming the video. And now we'll go ahead and log back in. Everything looks good there. Let's make sure it's responsive over here. Since it rebooted, of course, we're going to have to re-authenticate. If it looks like we're good, go ahead and try again. OK, got a little warning here about lifecycle management. And I'm actually not seeing it talk about the update. 
So that's kind of interesting. Looks like the user interface is not mentioning the update. So, um, okay, didn't complain about clicking on that. All right, well, let's head back to Vami. How's Vami doing with the update button? It's automatic. I didn't have to click on check updates. It's doing it now. It's looking good. Stage and install. Pre-update checker. Yeah, that is disappointing. So I guess I have some more troubleshooting to do or... Oh, there we go. So a little while after a reboot, this showed up. Let's see now if it talks about the vSphere VCSA update. Ah, and there's the release note link. I didn't show that earlier in the video. Shame on me. But anyhow, let's go and do a pre-upgrade check from here. Let's see if we get any different behavior. So yeah, we're still not seeing the um, blue logo up here. No issues found, and that just simply opens VAMI. Ready for us to, don't really need VAMI open twice. Ready for us to head over here. And we'll give it another go, but uh, it seems unlikely at this point. Oh, <laughs> okay. So it looks like at this moment in time, 104, the, the later version disappeared from the server again. So maybe the code um, is made unavailable at this moment in time for whatever reason. So yeah, I'm going to have to hold off on this for a bit. Um, maybe I'll be digging around the Twitters tonight, see if other people are bumping into the same thing. So it looks like I'm just not ready to make the jump yet. Oh well. Uh, catching VMware in the middle of things in this early days of the release, since the release. Well, hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Got a whole collection of vSphere 7 articles already and videos to go with them. A playlist as well for, of vSphere 7 specific videos. Thank you for visiting Tinkertry. IT at home. Bye for now.